G'day, my name is Phil, and I am proud to be a team member of Reef Biosearch, part of the Quicksilver Group operating out of Cairns and Port Douglas. Since the early 80s, the Quicksilver Group has had a long history of involvement in reef site stewardship on the Great Barrier Reef. Our efforts to educate our guests, conduct research and conservation programs, and monitor the reef's health has been extensive for many years and reinforces how tourism operators can play a key role in the protection and management of the Great Barrier Reef. Recognising this, the Australian Government's Reef Authority has empowered reef tourism operators to expand monitoring and protection of their sites through the Tourism Reef Protection Initiative. Launched 18 months ago as part of the Reef Protection Package, the Quicksilver Group was one of 26 operators to provide important reef protection and conservation services at high value tourism sites along the Great Barrier Reef and our achievements as an industry have been nothing short of outstanding. With experienced marine biologists and dive teams leading the charge, Quicksilver has made over 450 site visits dedicated to stewardship initiatives across our various high value reefs. We've conducted over 700 eye on the reef surveys. These high frequency surveys include tourism weekly and reef health impact surveys, helping to paint a picture of current conditions and monitoring for any impacts affecting reef health. While Cranathorn starfish numbers have been low, through targeted efforts, we've removed around 70,000 drapella snails, helping to protect the reef ecosystem from these coral predators. We've also taken over 13,000 photo point survey images. The additional visual data taken over the summer of 2023-24 in particular is providing greater detail on the response of individual coral groups and reefs to both bleaching and cyclone events. The reef was changing week by week and so being out here to be able to collect that data week by week was very important to us. We were able to document that as it happened. Now of course what we really want to do is document the regeneration of the reef. The reef is recuperating at the moment. We watched some of these corals that have been bleached for a, a couple of months now. It is amazing how some of these corals, although they've been bleached and stressed, are still alive. There are some really incredibly resilient corals out here. And what we'd like to do now, of course, as this, as this initiative progresses, we want to document, we want to get to hard data on the recuperation and the regeneration of this reef. That's what we're looking forward to in the future. Our coral nurseries and coral clipping work, along with the Mars Stars program at Green Island, have been incredibly satisfying. Through sharing knowledge and best practice for reef conservation, these reef intervention projects demonstrate how collaboration and partnerships can assist recovery, resilience, and conservation of reef environments. In collaboration with the Reef Authority, site stewardship plans identify the incredible biodiversity and overall health of our primary reef sites. Over 100 different species of corals can be found at Quicksilver's Agincourt Reef platform. With each species individually photographed and recorded, the diversity count is still ongoing. So the Tourism Reef Protection Initiative has been a win-win for Quicksilver Group, the Great Barrier Reef, and the tourism industry at large. It provided much needed financial support during a challenging period, empowered the company to become a more active reef steward and ultimately position Quicksilver Group for a sustainable future alongside a thriving Great Barrier Reef.